As I was painting this model, I saw the cloak as an opportunity to showcase another method on how to paint black. When highlighting black, go ahead if you can and pick an off-white color. This way, you'll get a more interesting result compared to just plain grey or white. I'll place my lamp above the model and take a picture to get a sketch of how the light falls. You can see how we got some shadows here and here, as well as lighter parts over these areas. On my previous guide on how to paint black, I used a pale green to highlight, alongside a khaki color as a bridge. This time, I'll just be using the pink grey I showed before. I added just a pinch of it to the black and tried it on the model. I'm looking for a noticeable difference, yet not a huge jump in color. From there, I'll just be following my sketch. You can be rough with this, we will be smoothing it out later. Here is how it looks after the first step. I'll then add a good amount of water to the previous mix I used, and I'll apply it where the first highlight meets the black. Note that my brush is not heavily loaded with paint. This is a glaze of diluted paint to better blend the transitions. Two or three coats of it should be enough. I also made use of a blow dryer to speed this process. I then added another pinch of pink-grey until once again I had a noticeable difference yet not a huge jump in color. With it I continued to follow the sketch from the picture I took. You can see how this lighter color is applied in a smaller area on wider surfaces to allow the previous color to show. From here I could glaze again and blend this highlight in like I did before, and repeat as I go lighter and lighter. However, this is no painting competition entry. I'll speed the process up by going ahead and following the sketch till I reach the final highlights I'm comfortable with, and blend them all in in a single step. However, before we move on, remember I'm showing you the model from really up close. When it comes to how you look at it from the table, it's already looking fine. So, back to our first highlight color, I'll apply this once again in a glaze consistency but all over the cloak. Some things we have to have in mind as we do this is that every thin coat will darken our highlights, and while this will blend the colors all together, a lot of coats will kill the luminosity. Two coats of paint should be enough. It's very important that set coats are applied evenly along the whole surface, not letting paint pull anywhere or going over the same area more than once, otherwise we'll end up applying more than one coat over some areas and not others. Here is how it looks after one coat. The other thing this glaze is doing is actually lightening up our darker shadows, since we're glazing a lighter color over them. So after applying the two coats of glaze and blending all the highlights together, I'll finish up by bringing back the shadows through a glaze of black. Dilute your paint two parts water to one part paint and make sure not to overload your brush. Follow your sketch if necessary and apply two to three coats in order to really build up the black shadows once again.
I lowered the light exposure on my camera for this end result, to better show how the clock really ended up looking without the help from my lamp. If you stuck around till this point, thank you for watching the whole video. You can expect another one next week.